Ooh, that was a good up smash. That was a less good up tilt, though. And maybe a questionable up B. That was nice. <laughs> Oh god, what have I done? How's it going everyone? I'm not Bay. Welcome back to another episode of Mewtwo Elite Smash, and yeah, it's been a while since I've done one of these, so I kind of wanted to get back in the swing of things as I miss that tech right there, and probably I'm going to die off stage. And yes, I do die off stage. <laughs> it's almost like I predicted it. Oh, what? What happened? Okay. I take. We're just gonna play a Smash 4 game. Ooh, my two frame is on today. <gasps> he rolled right into it. That's a masher. I messed up, but it's okay because he messed up even more. No DI? I think he kind of DI'd, but he also just didn't act out of it, so... Did my neutral air just outrange his neutral air? That's crazy. I don't know why that happened. Up. Oh. Dang, we are reading his every move. And Tail? Definitely gonna take him out. Love you, Tail. Oh, I, oh, I think I was a little slow on that up smash. I feel like that could have comboed. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know frame data. No DI? No DI, but I did mess up. Okay, he likes to air dodge right after using that, uh, that bomb. Gotta keep that in mind. I think he hit my tail right there. But it's okay, because we are going to up throw, and he's going to be light. Okay, not dead just yet. No, 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 I can stall in the air. I got my confusion with me. Ooh, he thought I was gonna throw Shadow Ball. Makes sense. Ooh, I missed! And we didn't DI at all, that's fine. He's using a lot of downer, but it's like, he's using it in a way that it makes it kinda safe. Yeah, he's just, he's constantly drifting away from it. He, he's more using it just to, like, get back down the stage. It's called being a little too complacent with your playstyle. Another pit, we're on battlefield, pretty good. And he's using a horrible skin. I never liked gold pit. He just looks so tacky. Okay, forward throw off stage. He air dodged right there. That was actually pretty risky, because if I was predicting him to go high, which he did do, I easily could have punched him for it. He's going to miss this tech. Or not, he's just going to air dodge. <laughs> Ooh, he ducked. Very nice. Oh, he dashed. He buffered the dash. Clanks with my Shadow Ball. That's pretty cool, because we get a free hit off of it. Is that a true confirm? That seemed like it comboed. If so, that's pretty cool. Okay. He likes to do a lot of rolling. Which is cool. We just gotta predict it. Yep. Roll, no DI, we're gonna take that stock. There we go. Like I said, he likes to do a lot of rolling. Almost really cool. <laughs> Wait, he rolled back! Or forward or whatever, I don't- oh, what the heck. Oh, 
Alright, what's going on today? First we got Dark Pit, then we get Light Pit, and then we get two Game & Watches. I'm so confused. It's playing very, very basic. I don't know how I feel about it. Did I really just trade with his forwarder? I think I did. <laughs> Masher, we caught him. Ooh, immediately up bees. That was good. What? Yeah, just run right under the bacon. Okay. Back there? Wow, Game Watch is so light. That kills him. There we go, this is what I'm talking about. Actual online characters. Okay. Ooh, I got him before his neutral D came out. Ow. Yeah, that's fair. Ooh, that tripped? What? I have never seen back air tripped. Probably because it should never be used like that. <laughs> No! The online strategy worked. How dare it work. <laughs> Waited that out. He mashes that, that neutral B, as soon as I, uh, I get him off stage. He tried to get fancy on me and teleport cancel. I will say again, I actually do really like this matchup. Not so, that, so much as I think it's amazing for Mewtwo, but I just, it's, it's a fun one. Oh! <gasps> I hit his Cypher! That is crazy! Ooh, so close. Oh, he had a C4 planted there. I didn't notice. No DI? Oh, he DI. Ooh, I caught him though. Interesting. I messed up. He learned his lesson from the first time. <laughs> Ooh, hit him right in the dome. Sephiroth, you are going to die super early to my up throw, and we like that kind of stuff. Ooh, that was a good up smash. That was a less good up tilt, though. And maybe a questionable up B. That was nice. <laughs> Ooh, good up smash. I am teleporting very predictably right now. Ow, fair enough. Also very good. Ooh, up tilt. Nope. His tech? Yep. You can see those coming a mile away. Jump? I jumped at the wrong time. I definitely could have forward smashed him. He was dead. I messed up. Oh, what? I, I missed my grab! I'm, I already know, I can see YouTube comments complaining about the grab range. <laughs> Very good counter. This guy's playing well. Interesting up B. Oh, it worked, I can't really complain. Just outside of the range, I was honestly predicting the roll in. Definitely take that trade. 
Wow, my tail didn't reach him. That's really good. And to end things off, we got ourselves a Pokemon trainer. Which, again, is a very cool character. This is actually being recorded just after I completed my Pokemon trainer ladder grind. I do like fighting some Ivysaur because I feel like you two does fine against them. Oh, you jumped right into the jab. I feel like cross-up forward air is just not a great option for Ivy. Very nice. Yep, take that trade. <laughs> My man was scared. Hadouken! Ooh, I'll definitely take this pun- okay, I won't take this punish at all. <laughs> wow, neutral bleed, that was so good! Oh my god! Yep, I knew as soon as I dashed I was dead. Ow. Um, hope a little bit of an anticlimactic way to end things off, but I think that is going to do it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, let me know by leaving a like and subscribing if you would like to see more. I do plan on doing another Mewtwo Fundies episode, so be on the lookout for that, and I will see you all later. Peace out.